I think when I, what prompted me to write this play is this sense of disconnect, which is what the title is. This dis disconnect between two worlds, um, and also disconnect between what is real, what is not real. Disconnect in human relationships, and disconnect in terms of communication. You have these small town boys come into the city, and they're working in this totally artificial world. On the face of it, they have, when they're on calls, they have this most fantastic frappo with people they've never met. On the other hand, when it comes to human relationships, you find them as awkward as a, you know, as awkward as a small town boys tend to be. You know, it's, 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 it's quite amazing. They just become totally different characters when they're online. And, and then when they have to remove the masks, it's what do they do with, what, what do they say next? How do I behave? I don't know if it's right or wrong um, in this whole performance aspect to a call center, but it exists. Because the moment they go on phone, on, on they make a call, they become someone else. And it's, it's also fascinating how uh, there's a, a call center agent I spoke to, and he had perfected the art of accents. So he, he could demonstrate what was Texan, what was Bostonian, what was New York, just like that. And he spoke to me in an American accent. And it, when it comes to Indian, he was kind of, uh, he just didn't get it. I live in Chennai, southeast coast of India. Um, it's a small city uh, packed with a lot of people. Small in, in, in the terms of uh, territorial size, but it's just teeming with people. Wherever you walk, I mean, if you're going into a, a young haunt, like say a, a cafe, and you hear all these young American voices and you, you're taken aback. Are they working in a call center or are they newly returned from America? And that's, that's a question I don't know, I can't answer. So it's, it's, I think probably that was a starting point you know, to explore this, this new language that's creeping in into, into the city and that's, that's the American twang. As you see, India is simultaneously living in three centuries and it's, it's really interesting to see how all those centuries play out in, in, in the present moment. And I'm, I'm fascinated with that. I'm fascinated with, with the paradoxes that, that is my city. Um, on the one hand, you know, you have people dating each other. On the other hand, you know, you have, you have schools where, where the boys sit in one side and the girls sit in one side. Our buses are, are divided like that, vertically. The men sit on one side, the women sit on the other side. And this is the globalized world, so it's, it's, it's really fascinating to see how, how all this plays, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, the drama that's happening in real life. The thing about this kind of change is, is in terms of courtship, you have a section that goes the traditional way, arranged marriages. The other goes the technology way, which, which means that, you know, you do the arrange, the parents arrange through the internet. And you have the third way where, where, where the kids meet each other, they like each other, they, they marry. And what I also see in a city like Bombay rather than in Chennai, you have, you have couples preferring to live in. And that's not so common in, in Chennai, at least not to my, to my knowledge. But it's, it's again, it's fascinating to see how all these things are happening, existing in the same space. You know, that's, that's, that's a whole... Uh, the wonderful paradox of, of India. Annie had been working uh, with the Royal Court for a number of years and we'd met very briefly when she'd come over for an Indian week at the Royal Court but we weren't working together so I didn't know, I didn't know her and then um, basically Elise asked me, gave me her script of Free Outgoing and said uh, you know we're doing a production and we'd like you to direct it. The first time we met Anna Palmer was when she came to our international residency at the Royal Court in 2000 nine years ago <laughs> that's how long it takes and all along that way genesis was supporting projects in india with indian writers and our residency uh, that that would help to sustain uh, anu even when she talked about the time when it was so bad and she didn't think she could even earn a li living anymore and she'd have to go back to journalism those sort of short small commissions we did to Anu, were part of our Human Rights Watch project. Free Outgoing was looking at 
a, a modern India, and um, but how that was clashing, how traditional cultural values was clashing and conflicting with modern technology. How do you deal with that when a country is growing so fast, when the technology is moving so fast? Does does it enhance the cultural identity or is it in conflict with the cultural identity? Here we're going somewhere completely different. So we're set, we're set in, a, in, a, in a business world, in a, in a commercial sector, in a westernised uh, aspirational world. And, but it's still in a way looking at similar themes of, of where India is now, looking at what is happening when you've got a culture and a world and this immense changes of identity happening because of this incredible growth in, in economy and technology. The technology uh, is moving so fast and so extreme and, and India is expanding so quickly. I think um, the play is looking at when you put people in a bubble, how do they deal with uh, a culture that they come from? Where is their identity when actually they have incredible access to financial reward, their lives have changed, you know, they're, they're their main money earners. Why I really enjoy my relationship with Anu creatively is that it's just really, it's, you know, we both come from worlds where as artists we're kind of the outsiders, we come from, you know, we're not the norm and there's not very many of us. Um, and so to find someone who, who gets your whole family background and is also an artist that you incredibly respect and think is brilliant, but you also get each other's worlds completely, is, is, a, is just really exciting. It's just kind of, there's a, there's a sense of exhale. I think what's also really exciting about um, Annie's writing is that, that uh, the world that she creates is not just the world of the people and the characters that you meet, but the world outside and the world even bigger than that. So with Disconnect, you've got the office, which is you've got the five people, but actually you're aware that there's a much bigger office complex and it's a very um, a frightening world where nobody meets each other, nobody knows each other, it's a very corporate world, but within that you get the sense of all their lives outside of that corporate world, where they come from, but also that this, this building is situated in a rubbish dump just outside Chennai, and what, what's the implications of this? But then you've also got the sense of an international world because you've got, you know, the, the call centre, which is, and you've got references and people making calls and characters, even though you don't see them, you feel them and you can visualise them in America. So actually, you know, you've got an international world created in this very specific, very small environment of cubicles.